What if everything you ever thought about lupus was wrong? I spend a lot of my time discussing the nature of lupus as a chronic condition for which there's no cure. But what if that wasn't true? What if thanks to decades of remarkable bioengineering, we had a cure? Well, last summer, when the first case reports came out about CAR-T therapy, this was exactly the question everyone, at least in my world, was asking. So let's talk about what CAR-T therapy actually is, the current state of the science, and what we may see in the future. I'm Dr. Elizabeth Ortiz, and this is Connected Rheumatology. Let's get started. The story of CAR-T therapy is a story of bioengineering. So to understand it, we need to first understand the biology of autoimmunity. What is happening in autoimmune diseases on a cellular level? To demonstrate this, imagine yourself as the proud owner of a big, sprawling, complex factory with multiple divisions capable of efficiently producing multiple essential products. This factory is a well-oiled machine, but occasionally faces threats from the outside, whether it is weather events or even corporate spies. So, to protect your factory, you've invested in a state-of-the-art security system. This system relies on an army of security robots who roam the factory programmed to identify and neutralize any external threats that might disrupt production. This security army is made up of all kinds of different robots, small ones, big ones, ones that fly, and they each carry with them a unique set of weapons and communication devices. As they roam the factory, they are in constant communication with each other so as to mobilize quickly should one of them ID a threat. Now, this factory is huge and you need a bunch of robots, so it's only natural that given how quickly the security division needs to crank them out, that mistakes happen. Some robots' programming is off and doesn't recognize the outside world as threats, but instead recognizes your own factory workers as a threat. As the smart business person that you are, you do a cost analysis and realize it makes more sense to get a quality control team to overlook the robots instead of slowing down production. So this quality control team keeps an eye on all the robots and when an incorrectly programmed robot is made, they ID it and they take it out. This system works beautifully and allows your factory to keep humming along without interruption from any outside threats. But what happens if times get tough and you have to make cuts to your quality control team? Now, instead of a full team, you are left with one lone quality control officer to overlook the entire security army. More defective robots would then slip through the cracks, incorrectly targeting your own factory workers. When only one or two are slipping through, this can be handled by the sheer size of your factory and the number of factory workers. But when more and more defective robots start attacking your workers, they start to get overwhelmed and eventually entire divisions in your factory start to malfunction. So by now, you hopefully can see how the factory is you and your body and the army of security robots is your immune system. The different robots are the different immune cells who are all armed with different weapons and are in constant communication with each other. The quality control team is a special set of regulatory immune cells whose job it is to find auto-reactive immune cells, those are the rogue, misprogrammed robots, that target you instead of bacteria and viruses, and these regulatory immune cells will take them out. When these regulatory cells don't work at 100%, the autoreactive cells are allowed to grow in numbers so that we then get autoimmune diseases. So CAR-T therapy are specially re-engineered robots armed with specific communication devices honed to target the rogue robots. These robots, which are your robots but just re-engineered, seek out and then destroy the dysfunctional ones, allowing your factory workers to heal and get your factory up and running again. Now, in biology terms, CAR-T therapy is re-engineering your T cells, a type of immune cell, with a receptor that specifically identifies the auto-reactive B cells and tags it for destruction. B cells are just another type of immune cell, and in autoimmunity, especially autoimmune diseases like lupus, they are very important in the development of the disease. You see, B cells produce 
antibodies. And sometimes B cells that produce autoantibodies, which are antibodies that target your own tissues, well, they slip through the cracks. And when a lot of them do, we can get a lot of autoantibodies that then wreak havoc on our tissues, causing inflammation and all the symptoms of diseases like lupus. We have known how important B cells are to lupus for decades. And in fact, we already have therapies that target B cells like rituximab and belimumab. But these medications aren't as targeted as we would like. So the idea that we could have a treatment that specifically targets our rogue robots, our autoreactive B cells, and leaves the rest of our security team intact, and does this by using our own robots or our own immune cells, well, it's pretty exciting. CAR-T therapy may be new in the autoimmune world, but it's not new. It's been used in cancer, specifically lymphomas, for years. And because of that experience, we have some idea of how to use it and what to expect. So how does this therapy work? Well, you first start by giving blood. Your T cells are then removed from the blood and you're given the rest of your blood back. And this is a process called leukophoresis. Those T cells are then taken and re-engineered by planting a specific type of receptor on them. They are given some time to grow, and then once ready, they are given back to you. Now, I just made it sound like a super simple procedure, but this has been built on decades of research in cell biology. And I actually skipped a big step. You see, we can't just give you back the engineered T cells because they would get lost in your big complex immune system and not be able to grow and do what they've been engineered to do. So before getting the transfusion of T cells, you have to have a round of chemotherapy. The chemo significantly depresses your immune system, effectively making space for the new T cells to then grow. Now, do you see why we aren't just giving this out like candy, even though it is super exciting? Yeah, getting this therapy is kind of a big deal. Not only does the process of getting chemo and knocking down your immune system put you at risk for infection, we know that the transfusion of T cells back into the body can cause the body to freak out a little bit, which means it can lead to an inflammatory reaction that in some cases can be severe. Now, the good news is that when given for autoimmune disease, it appears that one, not as much chemo is needed to make the new T cells effective, and two, the risk of the inflammatory freak out is less, although it's not zero. These case reports, and they keep coming by the way, got everyone in a tizzy because the patients this treatment helped were super sick. These were lupus, scleroderma, and myositis patients that were very, very ill and had tried almost every treatment out there. And after getting CAR-T therapy, they got better. And many of them stayed better even after the effect of the new T cells should have worn off. Despite this, we are still a ways away from this being something that is easily available and standard of care for most people with autoimmune diseases. There are still many questions we need to answer. Like, how can we make this treatment safer to limit the risk of infection and that inflammatory freakout? Who is this treatment best for? And what are the long-term side effects of this treatment? There is evidence that in cancer patients, there may be a risk of developing a different type of cancer after receiving this therapy, so that is definitely something we're gonna to wanna to keep an eye on. And then we can't forget about cost. It's not something we like to admit, but the cost of treatments is always something that must be considered, and right now, the price of CAR-T therapy can run as high as a cool half a mil. If you are or know someone with difficult to control autoimmune disease who has tried and failed almost every treatment out there and is interested in learning more about this and wondering if this would be a good fit for you, I'm going to leave links in the description box for the current clinical trials that are now recruiting. After years and years of seemingly very little innovation in the world of autoimmunity, the past 30 years has been a major growth spurt in our understanding of the immune system and autoimmune treatments. CAR-T therapy is another example of a potential big breakthrough that is worth keeping an eye on. If you want to learn more about how lupus can affect your hands in particular, I recommend watching this video next on lupus hand symptoms. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this, it helps if you can like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.